Collecting a vapor sample from a sewer manhole is no more difficult than collecting a soil gas sample. VOC concentrations are often higher at the bottom of the manhole than at the top, so we recommend collecting the sample from a depth of one foot above the bottom of the manhole or the top of the liquid, whichever is shallower. The first step is to measure the depth of the manhole and to check for the presence of standing liquids. This can be done using a water level meter or weighted tape measure. If the manhole cover does not have vent holes, slide the cover off to create a small opening. In order to minimize the mixing of ambient air, the manhole cover should not be completely removed until after sample collection has been completed. To collect the sample, lower a weighted sample line to the target depth. For a manhole with minimal liquids, the bottom of the manhole can be identified using the weight to feel the bottom. For a manhole with standing liquids, the target depth can be marked on the sample line. The sample line is purged using a handheld pump or syringe and three-way valve. For 15 feet of 1 8 inch nylon tubing, a 50 mil purge corresponds to three line volumes. The SUMA canister can be connected to the sample line through the three-way valve. The syringe can be used to check for leaks and also to purge the sample line running to the SUMA before using the three-way valve to connect the SUMA to the sample point. After connecting the SUMA to the sample point, open the valve on the SUMA to collect the sample. The flow of vapor into the SUMA is usually audible. If collecting a grab sample, i.e. no flow controller, allow the SUMA to fill for 30 to 60 seconds. After the SUMA canister is filled, close the valve and remove the sample line from the manhole. 